Nasekoi 208, and we have Ru- Ruri. Ruri. Ah, damn, I can never say her name. Ruri <laughs> and uh, Shu basically still together. They found the lost girl. They're trying to find her parents. So we're still at it. And in this chapter, it was great to see the kind of Ruri kind of realizing how great of a guy Shu really is. He just likes to kind of just disguise how his true feelings really are but they're there they're there if you really look to see he's a good guy he's an honest good guy and we find out that he's a good guy because of raku he's he looks up to raku he wants to be like raku and he tells rui this and rui's very surprised and she's very and she's just thinking about all the times like rui her knowing that she he loves somebody or also that even Raku doesn't even know, you know, she knew before him. Uh, Also the fact that he's telling her, he's just telling her all this personal kind of stuff to her. So I'm pretty sure he is, he does really, really like uh, Rui. And I think Rui is starting to really kind of realize that she does as well. And this chapter really kind of expresses that really showcases that where Rui stands at uh, liking Shu. Cause I, it, it's just very obvious. It's very obvious. And it's very obvious the scenario it is because they have a lost little girl. Uh, Shu gives her, you know, a nice little toy, uh, like a little plushies type stuffed animal. And she's like ecstatic. And, you know, it, it looks like a family. It looks like a family. And that's what I'm getting the gist out of. And I just thought this chapter was just really good for the fact that Shu, we get to see Shu kind of be clowny but also open up at the same time to Ruri R- Riri and Riri just really realizing like you know there's something more to this guy and he isn't the buffoon it's me I'm the idiot I didn't really see it and I think she, little by little she's falling for him very much because she, she was glad that the topic and them trying to find this little girl's parents helped kind of because you know the topic where she asked are you still in love with the teacher the you know the old teacher so uh this chapter was very good uh the panels were very great the interaction was very great i did like the uh the little girl wasn't annoying she just she wasn't very she's there she's the she's the main reason why we're having this little plot (laughs) that's going right now but overall uh i think this is a great way to kind of open up and to really establish the relationship because you don't right away just hit you like, oh, these two got together. No, I think you need a little groundwork and the groundwork that they're laying right now for these two because I think they're going to end up at the end in the long run uh, is really great. I think these are the kind of chapters that you really take hold of and say, yeah, these secondary characters really deserve a little bit of spotlight because they, they are their characters themselves. And we really show, they're really showcasing a lot of their personality and what they think of each other or, or at least what Riri thinks uh about Shu and really kind of seeing a woman kind of a girl trying to just figure out her feelings towards this guy who she absolutely hates but is starting to really like and I've heard women say this all the time when they you know you talk they talk about their boyfriends I really hated them at first but I really you know and I just fell for them that's that's usually how it works it really that's usually how it ends up being so thank you guys for listening if you haven't already hit that subscribe button would really appreciate it like the video if you like it and comment below if you really agree with most of my points on here and did you enjoy this chapter as well so i'm dan and megan now son i'm out of here bye guys <laughs>